Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Wing Diamonds. I am here today with a post review and this is of, of course, Randall Spangler. I'm sure you can tell by the dragons, but this is Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble. Um, this is an older Diamond Art Club kit that is no longer in stock, I believe. Um, I bought this two years ago and I had meant to work on it um, last, or no, like, yeah, I meant to work on it the, like the year I bought it. Um, but of course I got pregnant and I couldn't diamond paint anymore. So it got kind of put on the back burner. So this year I'm happy that I was able to bust it out. This is the first Halloween type painting that I did. And I had such a blast with it. Excuse me. Just drink some soda, so I'm like hiccupy. Okay. So this is a 22 by 25 or 56 centimeter by 64 centimeter. Like I said, Randall Spangler, of course. It has 49 colors and two of them are ABs. Um, so we just have ABs in like this green here and then the white. So like I said, this is an older kit. So it was back when Diamond Art Club wasn't quite putting as many specialty drills in their canvases, but I still think it looks fantastic for not having so many. Sorry. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, I had a blast working on this. This was very color blocky. Um, it went pretty quick, um, which I was, I was very thankful for because like I said, it was, oh, sorry. Um, it was the first kit that I completed for like to get me in the Halloween spirit. As you can see, we got cute little witch hats and a cauldron with hot chocolate and marshmallows and cocoa and all that fun stuff. Um, so this is the like I said, it's older kit, so this is the older rounds still. Um, I will say, I can see the big difference in the older rounds versus these ones, because I was also alongside it working on, I'm still working on, but um, uh, the Love Potion by Miss Holly, which was one that came out like maybe a month ago or so. So working on those two side by side, like you can really see the difference. These ones are not quite as freckly as the newer rounds. But I plan on doing a whole entire video on the, the different types of drills, um, the, the new and improved drills. I plan on doing a separate video for that, so I won't go into too much on it. Um, but yeah, I still, I still enjoyed working on it. Um, I had plenty left over. Um, of course, I don't have them down here right now. Or Actually, I think I just disposed those ones. Since they're older rounds and we're moving into like an era of Diamond Art Club with their new squares and rounds, um, I'm not saving drills from older kits anymore. I'm saving them from the newer kits. Um, and I think this was the last old round I had in my stash. I think I'm now completely onto the, the newer ones. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this was just a blast to work on. I really enjoyed it. I was a little concerned about the rendering of the house, but looking at it through like the computer screen and just, you know, seeing it like after stepping back, I think it did. I think it um, translates really well. Um, I think that's the only part I was concerned about. I know when I was like working on this this part with the bubble, the, the chocolate in there, I was like, what is this? What am I working on? But then when I like took a step back, then I could see there's obviously hot chocolate boiling over the cauldron. Um, so yeah, like I said, it was mostly color blocking. I mean, yeah, we had a little bit of line confetti in the dragon scales and stuff like that, but it, all in all, it wasn't too bad. Um, I, yeah, for a two-year-old kit, this was actually very pleasant to work on. The drills were really well done. I didn't have to worry about any, or I didn't worry about too much static. I didn't have to worry about, like, clinging drills or too much trash or anything like that. Of course, I didn't save the trash. I decided not to save trash drills anymore just because, you know, the important part is you have enough to finish the kit. And I definitely did. Um, oh, that popped out. Go back in. There we go. Yeah, I probably do have some popping drills because I did multi-place a lot on this one. <laughs> um, uh, where was I? Yeah, so the glue held up really well. Um, had no issues there. It wasn't too slippery or anything like that. And yeah, just all around it was a fantastic kit to work on. And I'm very pleased with the rendering as always. So yeah, unfortunately nothing, well not unfortunately, it's a good thing, but nothing bad to say about this kit. I really enjoyed it and it was a great lead in to the Halloween season. So I'm very excited about it. So yeah, 
that should be it for this post review, short and sweet. <laughs> um, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subs subscribed here, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down there. And then hit the bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. Um, and of course, throw a comment. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um, have you worked on this one? Have you grabbed this one? Is it in your wish? Well, is it your unicorn now? I guess I should say because it's no longer in stock. But let me know. And yeah, um, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Um, generally, weapon chats go up on Wednesdays, but things like small shop hauls, post reviews, unboxing, just a little tiny little thing here. Um, those go up at random, so you definitely want to hit that bell to be notified. Come here when I post new videos. Well, I'll get that later. Okay, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.